Hello everyone, this is Brandon Smith, project lead on Open Coming Title Civitas. Just wanted to make a quick video here to show you kind of where we're going with permits, um, kind of why they're in the game, and just kind of quick give you a quick and dirty demo of a quick permit on a residential area. Show you how they can be extended more and everything, kind of how they work in the game. Try not to bore you to death this time, like I did in the last video, so let's just go ahead and dive right in. First of all, just kind of set the scene. Very basic map. Uh, set that up just for this demo here. When I drew in a quick customer right there, you'll see the cube down there. That's the drawing tool for now. But this is beta, so it's going to be a little rough looking. But we're uh, getting a little better every time. First thing we'll need to do is just zone the residential area. Um, so I select the residential tool. It's the only thing I have built into this build uh, just kind of make it a little faster for the demo but need to go ahead and zone that preset size for the demo but you'll see the road already attaches to it of course the road has to be touching the residential area to trigger the sim engine if it wasn't couldn't get things in and out so it's like most sim games you have to have that to build but you have your zoned area now um, most of the time you expect most games that maybe zone residential it's just going to start building you'll just see houses come up and everything but I wanted to be a little bit more realistic give you a little bit more control so you can grant permits for your zoned areas this will work for residential commercial anything uh, it's more realistic because that's kind of how cities are actually developed uh, you're not allowed to just build any kind of house or any kind of business anywhere you want to uh, there are zoning laws that help the city develop a little bit more structured and a little better a little easier to grow and everything so we have the residential residential area zoned up first thing you want to do is <clears throat> you'll notice up here I have two boxes ones for the amount of buildings that are able to be built on this property this will uh, one of the things that will cause larger houses to be built whenever you bring a building into the game whenever we start loading it full of all the different houses and everything of course everything will be set up by square footage price things like that that you would normally see separate houses and also businesses and everything like that so the first thing we'll do is we'll say okay um, you're allowed to build four houses here and to specify what kind of houses we'll say forty thousand dollars which as you can expect won't be a huge house it'll be you know, smaller house, and you'll be able to fit more on a one area. Um, so we'll go ahead and run the simulation on that, and there you go. So now we have four houses pop up. And these are, of course, lower rent houses, so they'll be smaller, take up less space. You can pile more in on there. Now they will be facing the road and everything in the final version, but simulation engine just kind of throws them in there. For now, um, so now that you see that it's four houses, forty thousand dollars a piece. Let's say instead of that, you're building a nicer neighborhood. And let's build one house with, uh, you know, five hundred thousand dollar limit on it, just to make it a little nicer house. So we're going to undo that and kill the engine on that. All right. So then we'll go back up here and say, okay. Instead, this time I want one house, and let's get something in the five hundred thousand dollar range. Which, honestly, right now there's only one model in there that's in the five hundred thousand dollar range, so pretty sure which one we'll get. But we want to go ahead and run that simulation on that, and let's see, there you go. So now you have a a larger house gets built there. Of course, we'll have more accessories and everything in the final version, but you get one larger house um, this would be for nicer neighborhoods like side houses anything like that just to help you develop your neighborhoods the way you would want them to be so now now that you have that you have an idea on that um, you can also see that for businesses uh, strip malls shopping malls uh, small boutique stores on a main street things like that you be able to better specify that and that's kind of where we're going with this kind of the reason we put it in here is just another layer of control and one thing we've decided to add here 
uh, we were actually interviewing a city manager, and this uh, actually came up between him and him, one of his city planners. I thought, oh, well, that should be in the game there. Um, you know, as you expect, one house, $500,000, you get one house. Um, let's go ahead and uh, kill the engine on that and get rid of that. Okay. So let's say you put in the same thing, one, $500,000. Um, and of course, I've already pre-scripted this, but this, you'll see this at random in the game. Um, go ahead and simulate that again. And this time you get a large house and a small house. Now, that's not what you permitted on this property. Um, you have to keep an eye on things. I wanted to add a little bit of randomness there to make you pay a little bit more attention to your city. People will break your permits. People will build things that you are not allowing. I mean, if you went down to the level of, say, no swimming pools in this neighborhood, you saw somebody with a swimming pool, um, this, this is a violation of your permit. Um, we will come up with a punishment system for that, be it fines or whatever, but they will have to rectify the situation, either uh, pay you for another permit um, or they have to tear down and start over. But... We just kind of wanted to add that there just to give you a little bit more incentive to pay a little bit more attention to your city and kind of see more of what's going on there. Um, let me go ahead and deselect that. So just get rid of it. But that's kind of the permitting system in a nutshell. And like I said, it's quick and dirty beta, but I just wanted to throw it out there and kind of see the progress on that. Um, that's just moving along. But start thinking about things you can do with permits. And you'll be able, be able to come up with some good stuff, seeing how the city could grow more to your plans than how the game would plan it itself. So, appreciate you watching this video. Appreciate the support. And I'm going to end it here. And I'm going to be putting up a lot more of these in the next few days. Um, we've got a lot more of these coming out. We're going to really start hitting the gameplay footage hard. Start showing a lot more concepts of the game, art, and everything. Um, get about halfway point. We're gonna have the update ready, so this will be the first one of many. Uh, look for it. Appreciate you again. Thanks.